Today we're going to be looking at a couple of comics that were very familiar from my childhood. Uh, I don't know whether you remember these or whether you're old enough to. These are from 1976 and they were free gifts. And I, I'll, I'll go through why I remember them vividly. Um, so in the 70s there was a, a comic called TV Comic and it used to print like Star Trek and Doc 2 strips. Um, and then it uh, became... Uh, new Mighty TV comic, as you can see up here, and basically in the in the seventies and sort of into the early eighties, British comics had this really weird sort of distribution pattern where they they did print runs, and every week they would print less and less and less and less of each comic. The idea being that people would buy issue one, and then some of those people wouldn't buy issue two, issue three. so as they went through, every comic would eventually die, and what they would do. This was built into the the uh, the model of them and what they would do is they would either relaunch themselves usually they would merge with another comic and what would happen is comic companies would bring out titles with the idea that in six months time they would merge with another brand and what happened is when the two comics merged they could up the print run so it was a way of uh, of keeping a comic title alive so TV Comic merged a few times with different comics. Um, I think it merged with TV Action at one point, but basically it became Mighty TV Comic, and what that usually meant was exactly the same comic, just a slightly different uh, page count, or you might get some colour pages. And to uh, to try and sort of tempt new readers in, uh, they gave away uh, over issues one and two, two of these, and they're what's called the Mighty Midget, as you can see up here. Um, and it was an, a, a way of giving you a free comic so you, you felt like you got extra value. And I remember these because they were great because I honestly thought these were like new comics. They, I, I didn't know what they were. Um, so in this one, the first one was Doctor Who comic and you got some very nice artwork on the front. Um, two complete adventure stories inside. Mm -hmm. um, 1976. So what you would get is and remember this is this is before Doc Two magazine came out, which was I think seventy nine, um, or was it seventy eight? No, it was seventy nine. So seeing photos of TV people was just magical. And I remember this, and I I, I think I bought several issues, um, and it was actually published just up the road from us in uh, Banbury. I lived in Oxford at the time. So you got this comic strip, Doc Two in Doom Cloud. Um, really sort of interesting comic i didn't realize it was a reprint and it's an interesting reprint in that it's a john pertwee story um where they just drew not very well but they drew tom baker's likeness over top of john pertwee's image they, you know they actually put stick a piece of paper over the artwork and redraw the faces so you can see it's this weird amalgam of john pertwee still looks like him a bit um with tipex all over it and uh, so this was Sarah Jane Smith, but they didn't have the rights to Sarah Jane in TV comic at this point. So they just changed her name to Joan. So it's not Sarah Jane, it's Joan. Um, but other than that, it's exactly the same story. Um, so yeah, they try to make the Doctor look like Tom Baker. I mean, at the, when I was a kid reading this, I didn't know. I thought this was a new strip. I mean, look, that's not the Brigadier. <laughs> um, they're wearing glasses. It looks like Charles Hawtrey. But yeah, it's, it's a nice little short comic, um, sort of quite basic. Um, and then the second comic strip was just a reprint of the uh, the TV21 Dalek strip in black and white. A lot of comics seem to do this. Um, and it just makes the, the superb painted artwork look pretty terrible. But again, it, it was amazing just to see the Daleks in a comic. So it's, a, it, it's basically a few pages from that strip. It was a very long running strip. It's been reprinted actually. Marvel did a, a, a version of all of it in color. They went back to the original artwork when they had it. It's really nice. Um, it's getting quite rare again now. Um, so we go, TV comic annual. So yeah, you got summer specials. They call them annuals. Um, Pippin, I remember Pippin. Pippin was for younger kids. It was like um, Mary Mungo and Midge, that sort of thing. But yeah, so. So what, the first week you got this, and I was like, oh my God, you get a free comic. And then the second week you got a Star Trek comic, and Star Trek was huge, 1976. It was showing on BBC One. Um, that's my cat meowing, she wants to come in. 
So we're going to see what she's doing. Hello. She likes to join in. So, hello. What are you doing? You good girl? Yeah. So yeah, so Star Trek Massive, um, a BBC One, it was prime time, really big show in the, the UK, but much later than it was in the, the States. Uh, and this was a, a comic strip. And again, I didn't know it was a reprint. So you got a little bit of blurb. And then um, basically it's uh, a reprint of the old Gold Key comic, but again in black and white. And it's not even a full reprint. It's just a few pages from it. Um, it doesn't make a lot of sense as a story because it's missing. So you get this write up about the first half of the comic, then you get the comic. And um, yeah, the Gold Key was a very crude comic and it was made by people that uh, that hadn't seen the show. Uh, so none of the characters act like the actual characters from the show. Um, this is from later on in the run when they actually started getting the likenesses right. Um, but yeah, so it's a... Uh, just a reprint of the Gold Key comic. And again, quite a simple story. It's quite mad. It's about this sort of space ma magician. Um, a bit racist in that he's, uh, he's Chinese, but you got a, hello, you coming up? You got a poster of uh, William Shatner as Kirk, who was my idol. I wanted to be Kirk when I grew up. Um, but yeah, so I wish they still did this sort of thing. Um, but yeah, if you remember Mighty Midget, comics or even TV comic let me know um, you coming up she wants to join in or if you have these um, do you enjoy reading them I love this one just this artwork is superb I don't know again was that a reprint artwork probably but it does represent quite well she got a Tom Baker and you get a Dalek story uh, and this I think was the just reprinted from the gold key comic which I don't have that one but yeah if you want to see more comics uh, I just bought a, a collection of uh, old British comics. So let me know. Um, but thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you can. Uh, we've got a Patreon page now, which the link to is in the description if you want to help out the channel. Uh, and I'll see you again next time. Thanks then. Bye.